iPod Touch style, and I'm going to be showing you how to hack your iPod, iPod Touch style. So, the first thing you're going to do is um, turn on your iPod, and you have to do this over Wi Fi. You're going to jailbreak your iPod directly from your iPod, no computer involved. So, go to settings real quick, just to check if you have 1.1.1. So, do that, go to general, and settings, go to about. And you'll see something that says version, and on the version you'll say 1.1.1. That's what you're going to check. Make sure it's 1.1.1. If it's not 1.1.1, check my other videos to see how to downgrade or upgrade, whatever you need to do, or restore. So after that's done, um, go to your Safari. You're going to want to navigate to a website called jailbreakme.com. That's J-A-I-L-B-R-E-A-K-M-E.com. And once you're on that website, I like to save it as a bookmark, so just save it, see, at snap, it's always good to have, even though I won't do anything for you, I just like to have it, it's good to have. Alright, so scroll all the way to the bottom, um, install, at snap, like that. Now, this can only be done on a 1.1.1 iPod at jailbreakme.com. If you don't have a 1.1.1 iPod, um, then you have to do a different method or just follow my downgrading and upgrading or restoring process on my other video. So remember it's 1.1.1. This will not break, destroy, or whatever your iPod. And if it does, Apple made their firmwares good so that if your circuit motherboard on your iPod thing is completely fried, you would still restore your iPod and it'll be as good as new. So don't worry about that. And I'm not responsible just in case if whatever you, somehow you break your iPod. I don't know how you would. As you see, I hacked my iPod. But anyways, I want to be with you when you do this. So the first thing that's going to happen is your Safari is going to close. It's just going to shut off real quick. You're going to see a little icon, and you're going to see a percent from 1 to 100. It only takes two seconds for that thing to load. After it's done, your iPod will turn off like that. It'll do a little reset. Um, slide to unlock. And you'll have installer app. After installer app is up, go to install, click all packages, and I'm going to tell you to look for these four special applications that you'll need. The first special application you're going to need is BSD subsystem. I think it's already on your iPod. Just look. It should be in the B section of all packages. After that, download OpenSSH. OpenSSH does. Um, and let you win a CP into your iPod or SSH. That lets you add files, take files, add ROMs in the games, which I'll be showing you in other videos how to do. Alright. And the next thing is Summerboard. After you have Summerboard, you're all set. Summerboard's an application, the other two are not. And if you want to take it to the next level, um, to be a really pro hacker, is to do way more with your iPod, download games, and directly stuff directly from your iPod. Um, download um, Mobile Finder, then turn B100. This is just basically like a finder that you do anything a finder can do. And by the way, this is for iPhone and iPod Touch. Don't worry. If you have an iPhone, do, do not do this over edge. It's really slow. Do it over Wi-Fi. It takes two seconds. Alright. So, basically, You've hacked your iPod, congratulations. Here's a summer board app I've been telling you to add themes, change icons, and let you do all this stuff. Change pages. You have these little two bars after you completed your first page. You have two of them. And you have up to nine pages or more. Alright, so congratulations. Uh, please check my other videos. Thank you.